I'm Sarah Ramsey, I'm the co-owner of United Machinists with my husband Alex Ramsey. We're a precision CNC machine shop looking after the medtech, aerospace, marine and scientific instrument industries. So United was founded by my father-in-law Doug Ramsey in the 70s. So Alex and I bought it off Doug and Leslie in 2016 and I joined the business in 2019 and at that time when we bought the business it was very much a, a, a local jobbing shop. We were heavily focused on the local industrial sector and we saw an opportunity with some of our key customers such as shot over camera systems that the high tech industry was really taking off in New Zealand. So our vision at that point was let's become the machine shop of the future. Let's really build up one of the most skilled engineering manufacturing teams in Australasia and prove that actually in New Zealand we can do high tech, high value manufacturing really competitively on a global scale. Look, when we are thinking about who our ideal customer is, it's, it's a really small number of companies across New Zealand and Australia. We've had a huge amount of help from New Zealand Trade and Enterprise in identifying who those prospects are. So we're really interested in the Australian defence sector and also the Australian medtech sector and have recently won our first contract with an Australian company. So as far as finding our leads in Australia and offshore, we use a combination, like you actually can't beat being in market. It's essential for me to go over, to go to the trade shows, uh, to leverage the NZTA network and customers that we have here in New Zealand for introductions. But once we've actually got an in, and once we've met somebody once, then LinkedIn really comes into play. So I will quite often reach out to people initially on LinkedIn, and I find that our profile as far as business and also myself personally is concerned, that's been a huge lead generator for us from Australia. As far as digital tools for day-to-day -day operations, we went paperless at the start of this year, which was pretty huge. We've actually become really, really agile. So there are multiple components that we can make across multiple machines. And we were finding that when we were moving things around and being that agile, having to print off a new piece of paper every time really wasn't. So we use a system called Global Shop Solutions. We've done a huge amount of custom development on that and recently we've also integrated that into Microsoft Power BI where I get all of my data. We have real-time scheduling, so prior to going to a, a double shift each day, it was a process of Alex having to tell people what they were doing and what machine they were on and what job they were making. So now that all of that's fully automated, our team just look at their uh, schedule We've actually potentially got people that are working across three or four different jobs because they can see what's coming up next. One of the, the key things we have for a client that uh, quickly turns us from making one or two components for them to being a critical part of their supply chain is that we provide real-time links to their production going through the shop. They can see what's on order, they can get full traceability of what processes have been done and at any time we can provide them after the fact with full traceability of their material certificates, quality documentation. So despite being in another city or another country, we're providing a level of service digitally that's beyond anything they've experienced before. And that really removes the barriers of distance. As far as digital tools for organising our leads and marketing, is MailChimp has been huge for us. Whenever we send ours out, we get some great feedback from customers. We don't spam and generally it's just short and sweet with updates across the whole team. And I find Insightly, which is a CRM, I use that for all of my prospecting. And so as soon as I reach out to a new contact, I will put them into Insightly and set a reminder on when I need to go back and get in touch with them. And I've managed to integrate Insightly and MailChimp together so that as new leads are coming into Insightly, they're going through to our email database and we're collecting intelligence across them. I think our website is critical, but we are still a small business. So we've got a team of 24 at the moment. I actually built our website myself on Squarespace. It doesn't have to be hard. Again, it comes back to really good content. Having a, a brand strategy and a positioning that resonates with your customers. So rather than just having pictures of our machines and our capabilities, because anybody can do that, we talk about our brand and we talk about our team and that we care more. 
and really good customer case studies. So not just a, a little blurb, we work with these guys, but actually a detailed white paper and making sure that we're producing white papers that are relevant to the markets and the specific targets that we're targeting offshore. As for light bulb moments, look, I think one of the best things that we've discovered is how well LinkedIn performs when it comes to third party content. So doing the Australian trade mission with Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, that was a, a real life highlight for me last year, but the coverage that we got from that was just enormous, both from a credibility perspective and the sheer volume of sharing that came out of that. And it's the same with when we've won industry awards, we've won the Manufacturing Excellence Award in Otago twice, and we always get huge coverage out of that. So it's just making sure that you know, offline, outside of LinkedIn, you're taking advantage of opportunities as they come, going to the networking events, accepting the trade missions, um, applying for the awards. That kind of genuine content goes incredibly well, and especially when it gets picked up by a third-party media outlet, sharing that content has been great.